Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Penny Cobham, and I'm chairman of the National Tourist Board for England, Visit England. In an earlier era, I was on the board of the London Docklands Development Corporation, and towards the end of our life, we dealt with the expansion of the city airport. So, Phil, I congratulate you and your colleagues and the commissioners on dealing with a vastly larger challenge and giving us three years of non-emotional research and a huge welter of facts for not only us, but the government now to draw upon. Tourism is a global matter, for risk of stating the blindingly obvious. And in England, we're putting 106 billion into the economy out of 127 billion in the UK. So some 80% goes in through England. And ONS produced their recent statistics, I think last week, where direct spend had gone up by a billion in the last year to nearly 60 billion. In England, we're employing 2.6 million people. So it is a really important sector. And as no one less than the Prime Minister keeps on saying at the moment, the biggest challenge for us is to spread the benefits, ladies and gentlemen. When I look at the increase in tourism since 2008, London has increased by 39%, whereas outside London, it has increased by 16%. If we look at business tourism, a really important part of the sector, London is about £2.9 billion worth of business, and the whole of the rest of England is about half at £1.6 billion. So we have a challenge and a real opportunity. At Visit England, about three years ago, we pulled together a regional airport task force. And to begin with, I think everybody thought that they were in competition with each other, which indeed, in part, they are, but they had very little in common. We actually discovered, as we've just heard, issues like APD is a really, really red-hot issue for them all. And if we have variable APD outside England, it has a massive impact on Bristol, Newcastle, so considering these issues collectively is important. We at Visit England have been supporting our regional airport colleagues with the German routes that have opened in the last year to Birmingham, Manchester and Newquay. We have helped with the Scandinavian route to Bristol and the American route to Manchester. But I think for me, the most telling fact is that out of all the regional airports, capacity usage, Manchester is the greatest at 44%, and that goes way down to the early 20-something percent. So a lot to be done there. Phil talked about the links from Heathrow to the regional airports, but I think also, obviously, as Digby Jones pointed out, I believe, last night, it's not just a third runway at Heathrow, it's the other London airports going forward, and it's certainly what we can do both in the short, medium, and long term to increase capacity usage in the regional airports. At Visit England, we're running two large tourism funds at the moment, one linked to the Northern Powerhouse with the, all the local authorities and the private sector in the north, the Northern Tourism Growth Fund, and this is tasked with increasing by 3,000 jobs, the sector in the region, an extra 2 million nights spent in the region, 177 million pounds spent. So a lot to do in this coming year, and we've already been supporting the new New York City to Newcastle route, which opened in May. We have a second fund, Southwest Fund, which is uh, inbound, 
predominantly encouraging US, Australia, and China and near Europe visitors into the Southwest. We've just gone through a triennial review, which sounds very anoraki, but uh, it's what happens to public bodies, and that's proposed that we have a new product development fund looking at the broader picture across England to make sure we really are competing with our European colleagues in particular. So I think this fits neatly with the export-led growth, which is a key strand of government policy, and we hope that at Visit England we can support all of our colleagues here in making sure that we have fact-based decisions for expansion going forward. Thank you.